In this demo scene, we will show you how to do a drop ship from a sales order. So in this scenario, there are five steps. First, we'll create the sales order. Then we'll create the purchase order. In the process, we'll drop ship the item that we've just ordered to the customer. We'll post the sales order and then the purchase invoice. So first, let's go ahead and create the sales order. So logged into Business Central, I see here the quick actions, which makes it so much easier for me to locate key areas and key actions I need to take. I'll enter in the sales order. And so I've got a blank sales order. Uh, we'll select the customer. We'll select the datum. And then from the drop down menu, and you could type this in, or I'll just go ahead and select the Athens desk. And we'll go ahead and put a quantity of one. And now you'll see here on the line form, in the line items, I have the checkbox that enables me to recognize this as a drop ship. So I'll select that item and then I close that out. So we've created the sales order. Now let's go and create the purchase order. So again, from the uh, quick menu here on the end of the actions, I can open up the purchase order. Now we're going to select this item from Fabricam. And you'll notice before I complete anything else, down at the bottom, under Shipping and Payment, I can change that to a customer address. So I could change it from a different location, a custom address, or in this case here, I want to drop ship it to a customer. And then from the ellipsis, I'll say, that's right, we're going to send it to a datum. So all that's filled out. I still don't have my line item yet, but in the Actions tab, you'll notice that I've got an option to do drop shipment. And I'll say, go ahead and get the sales order. So this is nice is that it looks at all the sales orders that we have, open sales orders for a datum. The bottom one, meaning the most recent one we created, I'll select OK. And notice now you've got that one item for the Athens desk. And then I'm in the ribbon. I'm going to go ahead and post it since the vendor will ship it. right? And, and so we'll receive the items. And I'll print that out. And you can see there it is, the one Athens desk. Next, let's go ahead and post and invoice the customer. Right now we need to do that. So I've got the sales order that we created, 1010. I'll open that up. And you'll see here, I'll go ahead and hit post and send. And now I'm going to invoice the customer. I'm assuming they've received it. Uh, we just get the invoice out to them. And so there's the invoice. And if I click here on the right hand side under the customer statistics, you'll see if I drill into the balance, uh, this is the order we just placed for that customer. And I can also see the detailed ledger entry screens if I want to see all the accounting rules that are happening behind the scenes in terms of debit, debit and credit which accounts. Next, let's go ahead and post the purchase order. We need to recognize that as well. So in purchase orders, I've got the, the bottom one highlighted, the one we just created for Fabricam. And I'll go ahead and post it and invoice ourselves. I'll close the window. And then if you go over to purchasing, locate the posted purchase invoices, there you see that document. Come back home and that's the end of the demo scene. So again, showing you how simple and easy it is to manage a drop ship sales order. And by doing so, you increase your productivity. You certainly are able to streamline your own inventory management and reduce time on data entry.